What's up everyone, welcome back to another stadium vlog. It has been a month since the Euros ended, but now seasons are starting again. Club football is back and we thought the first a good first match would be Juventus against Barca here in Barcelona for the Joan Gampa trophy, a trophy that they have been playing out for like 60 years now. Two weeks ago we bought the ticket in the hopes to see potentially Ronaldo against Messi, maybe the last time they play against each other. But now things have changed, you probably all know what Messi is leaving the club. And right now we're in front of the Camp Nou, where he's going to have his last press conference at 12 p.m. And yeah, we're going to film something, see if we can catch some players and potentially even see Messi, film him. And yeah, we're going to show you the clips now. As you could see, there were thousands of fans waiting for Messi at the normal entrance and exit for the players. But he chose to go a little bit more undercover and chose this exit. Luckily, we were split up. I was at the entrance with all the other fans, but John was right here. You could see his video a little bit blurry because he didn't choose. Uh, I had to run. Yeah, he had to run a little bit. And yeah, but we saw him. I saw him come and he saw him leave. And now we're going to explore a little bit more here. Back there. Where Back there, there yeah. Two little stands. Yeah, you can see it here and there's a lot of going on and then we're gonna go there and then afterwards get ready for the game. Yeah, and obviously we've never been to Barcelona and we've never been inside the Camp Nou, always a dream of ours. And uh, yeah, the game was changed. Unfortunately, it's not in the Camp Nou anymore. The game is played at the Estadi Johan Cruyff, somewhere outside of Barcelona. But we're still here watching the stadium and we're gonna go inside the Barcelona store now, which I think is really impressive. This thing is so huge, it has three floors here, here, and then like a little section where people can sit, but incredible big. The new away kit from Barcelona, goalkeeper jersey, goalkeeper jersey from the home kit, here's the new home kit of Barcelona, the last Messi shirts that you can probably buy in this store. Upstairs they have like different things, a Johan Cruyff collection, Barcelona basketball, yeah, I think here, basketball jerseys, basketballs, uh, also women's uh, clothes and also some old jerseys from last season that you can buy. Yeah, here's the entrance for stadium tours if you go into the Camp Nou, so there's your like, players experience tour, welcome and I think then you move up into here into the stadium and downstairs you have like a kids section all the things that you can buy for uh, men's and women you can also buy downstairs for your babies or small children for all the next messies and here they print the jerseys everyone's buying messy jerseys and here's the 
yeah, all the different jerseys that you can buy. Okay, we're now back at the hotel and have something to eat, something to drink. Yeah, we're gonna just Brad. show you where we... Brad. <laughs> Brad. Smallest hotel probably in Barcelona. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, we are back in our hotel room, probably the smallest hotel room in Barcelona. Absolutely messy already. <laughs> Absolutely messy already. And messy also on the TV. We, uh, we're look, watching now the press conference again as we didn't see it as we were, while we were waiting outside the stadium. And here we can see it. 5.30, Trofeo Juan, Gamper. That's where we will be. <laughs> Okay, we are on our way to the stadium now. Estadio Ancruf, quite a long way from Central Barcelona. Ready to see Ronaldo play today. Maybe Messi's in the stadium for the last time to watch his, uh, his team. And yeah, now it's getting really loud, so we'll see you later. Stadium. Look there. It looks like the stadium. I've never seen it before, so can't promise you anything. And what I wanted to tell you is that um, we also have tickets for PSG against Strasbourg next Saturday. So if Messi goes to PSG, and then there's a small chance that this will be his debut. So if you want to see that, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, I will keep you updated on Instagram if we go to this game. If Messi is there 100%, if not, we will see Sir Ramos on Aruma playing. It's still gonna be some new players that are interesting. I will keep you updated, you can follow me there. And now we go to the stadium. We are now just passing by the Barcelona training ground or the training facilities where all the teams practice. So it's not the stadium, as I said. I thought this was it, but yeah, it's somewhere over there. Okay, we made it to the stadium, Estadio Juan Cruyff, where the match is being played. It's now half past six. The game starts in three hours. But first, the uh, women's match of Barcelona. They are playing against Juventus as well. And scoreboard shows us like 5-0 after 30 minutes, so that seems not to be too interesting. We now made it to our seats, really, really close to the pitch. Now it's 34th minute and we have like two hours until the team presentation, so we're just gonna relax a little bit, watch the game. And we are really, really hyped to see Ronaldo so close. He's gonna be like five meters away from us. Mmm, that looks really good. Just got two burgers, something to drink. And now we're watching the last minutes of the women's match. 15 minutes to go. Barcelona is up 6-0 now. Women's team getting that trophy. There are the, the president of Juventus and also we can see Paul Nedved with his back towards us. Juventus is warming up on our side. So that means we will see Ronaldo only meters away from us. That's going to be really insane. Okay, they're presenting the women's and the men's national simultaneously. Now the coaches of both teams have come out, Roman, and now the teams will come. Trunk this morning. Transfer. Fans chanting for Messi as he's missing in the team presentation. Now it's Busquets' turn to talk. Let's see what he has to say about Messi. I don't know anything about Spanish, but I understood that he was saying thank you to Rio. So yeah. Both 
teams now warming up. Barcelona on the other side, and here we have Juventus, Ronaldo, and Berardeschi here on the left. As already said, the match is today taking place in the Stadio de Croix because of Corona regulations. 3,000 people are in the stadium today, that's 50% capacity of the normal stadium here. Normally, the women's team plays here, the B squad of, or the B team of uh, Barcelona and the under-19 team. So yeah, but 3,000 people already, yeah, still a very lot, a lot of people here. You can see it. Hey, Juventus players are now shooting at our goal here. I think we're gonna get attacked with some balls. Well, not us, but these guys here. And now it's Ronaldo's turn. Now it's Ronaldo's turn. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh. Barca fans really happy about this first performance by Ronaldo. Ronaldo's angry. I think now he really wants to show what he's capable of after he, everyone was laughing at his first shot. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's ready to go. He's really ready. Uh, he was too early. It wasn't his turn. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Ronaldo really wants to shoot now. Uh, but he has to go back in line. It's not every day that you see the two arguably best players of all time in one day, but not in one match. This morning Messi and now Ronaldo is just wide five meters away from us, potentially warming Messi up. Also, potentially Messi will come to the stadium. We're Maybe Messi speculate. will be here. I don't know, but that's really crazy. Both goats uh, in one day. Now Ronaldo. Oh! People behind the goal get every second ball at them. Dangerous seats. Uh, I think Ronaldo wants to do a free kick. Yeah. Oh, now it's getting interesting here. Oh. Next point for Ronaldo. The bars are at the escaping plate, and the players are already on. I didn't see that. Here they are. Griezmann jumping a little bit. And the Juventus players now coming. Ronaldo, as usual, is the last person to come on. I think Barcelona might not be too happy about this sign here. Memphis <laughs> Depay, I was focusing, I think it's a little bit blurry, but 1-0 for Barcelona. Hopefully you saw the last seconds of the attack. Oh, left. Morata's on the left. Oh, good chance. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh. 
good free kick position and no messes here. Probably Beastman or the is taking it. Oh. Just wide left from Griezmann, but still a good attempt. We are so, so close to the players. Incredible. And Ronaldo. Oh, Demir got it back. Oh. Oh. Or cross. Oh. Ronnie. Ronaldo. Shoot. Oh. If he hit anyone back <laughs> behind that goal, that would have been really, really hurt. painful. Five minutes are now left to play a really interesting match. Barcelona already two offside goals and Juventus also had really good chances. So yeah, probably a lot more goals to see, hopefully. Oh, Morata. Oh, save. Good save by Neto. Already the third good chance from Morata. And again, a big save from uh, Neto. But he's gonna shoot. He's gonna go for it. <laughs> and everyone shoot. Everyone shouting Messi. Oh, that's good. Oh, good free kick by Ronaldo, and that's it. Half time. Barcelona is up one nil against Juventus. Uh, by goal from Memphis in the third minute. And yeah, really excited what happens in the second half. Okay, Ronaldo has been subbed off in the, after the first half. Pretty disappointing, we wanted to see him play onto our half. And uh, there have been some more changes, but I want to see like five. Or yeah, more five Juventus changes, but we don't know. Yeah, and Barcelona is still the same, and the rest I don't know. Yeah, four more Juventus players has been, have been subbed on, but yeah, we don't know who. Mistake by Barcelona, Morata takes it. Chiesa. Oh. Chiesa, oh! Yeah. Oh. oh! Good, really good chance. I think might be the best chance for... No, not the best chance, but a really good chance for Juventus. Oh! Barcelona, sorry. Barcelona, 2-0 up. I think that goal could have been saved by Czechny, uh, but it's too far away to really save it. And now it's really hard for Juventus to come back, but still 33 minutes to play, so everything's possible. Look who we found up here. Shakira sitting with her two boys and supporting their dad, Piqué. Both wearing, wearing a shirt, this guy. I think they have the whole outfit. <laughs> They just robbed the whole Barca store today, probably. MTT coming onto the pitch. But as you can see, Barca fans are not really too happy about him right now. Already got a lot of boos and whistles when he was presented during the team presentation. And we also have the Italian wall now back there. Let's, let's try to find them. Here we have Bonucci. And then we have Chiellini. No. Oh yeah, Chiellini over there. So now they shouldn't concede two goals anymore. MTT getting the ball. Yeah. Depay and Griezmann both standing there. I think would be good for Griezmann with his left foot. Or Depay crossing it in. It's Griezmann with his left foot. But oh, oh. Yeah. That would have been a perfect position. For Lionel Messi. I wish I could have seen him shoot this free kick. Oh. Oh. What a goal from Vicky Preach. It. The match is over. Barcelona wins 3 0.
against Juventus for the Joan Gumper Trophy and wins the Joan Gumper Trophy again for the 44th time, I think. Nito from Barcelona. Nito, the goalkeeper, is named the player of the match. Had some really good saves, especially against Morata. So, yeah, deserve that he wins that small title. And Kalini, the captain of Juventus, picking up the title for the second place. And Sergio Busquets picks up the title for Barcelona, the 44th trophy, Joan Gampa trophy. Yeah, it's nothing too special since it's only a preseason cup. But yeah, already a really good start into a season beating Juventus 3-0. Yeah guys, we are back at the hotel now, have to be a little bit quiet since it's already 1am in the morning. We got something to eat, yeah, the match was, I would say, was pretty interesting, 3-0 win for Barcelona. I wouldn't put too much meaning into that match since it was only a preseason uh, match and both teams both, uh, substituted a lot. But yeah, now we're looking forward for the next weeks, we have the match, uh, the tickets for the PSG match next weekend, we'll see if we go there, it's still... A little bit critical since the flights tickets flight tickets are really are really really expensive but yeah we will keep you updated on that and then yeah we'll see you maybe next week or in the next few weeks when we go to the next match i hope you liked the video and like and subscribe if you did if you did like it so and yeah then we'll see you bye bye guys